Hey, uh, Survivor Series was originally supposed to feature Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> this from our own Andrew Zarian. For anyone oh, yeah. watching last night, it was blatantly obvious that was a plan. In July, I was told the Brooklyn, New York pay-per-view would be centered around Johnson. Between heavily promoting his new Red Notice movie on Netflix, the 25th anniversary of his WWE debut that took place in New York, NBC's renewal of Young Rock, and the second season of the Ruthless Aggression documentary series, the timing was perfect. Yet another source informed me there were hopes for Johnson to be on Monday's Raw, depending on his schedule. He can't be there because of his schedule, by the way. In late September, the same source told me that Johnson would not be on Survivor Series due to his filming schedule, needed to quarantine for travel. However, there was still a financial obligation to continue with the plan for the movie promotion without Johnson, which is what we saw last night. The basic concept stayed the same, minus Johnson himself. So, The Rock was supposed to be there. No, he wasn't. He couldn't. No, he was actually supposed to be there. I, Wait, hold, I, it, I, as of July, he was. But that's the whole thing. But hold on, let me get to the point. With this, go ahead. This guy, they originally he was going to be there back in July, and then the uh, situation came with the movie, and he could no longer be there. So as always, they had to come up with an alternate plan. What can we do if we can't get the actual rock here at the show? Hmm. What can we do? I got it. There's gonna be an egg, and it's gonna get stolen. Best part about his egg getting stolen is. He's, he's doing the thing, and he goes, I think uh, the janitor might have stolen it. No, wait. Must have been one of the superstars. It's like, you, you change your mind in the middle of your, like, you couldn't even finish your sentence without changing your mind. The man's whole life so is now, a Scooby-Doo cartoon. All of expect? these Raw and SmackDown stars are going to be at Raw tonight, and we're going to get three hours of bro- a blokes getting interrogated about who stole his egg. <sighs> I can't wait for that one. That was what they came up with. We couldn't get the rock, but you know we got an egg. It's not even a fabric. Can you imagine egg. being the rock and in, in, in hearing that? Oh, they, mm. they replaced me with an egg. Cleopatra's egg. What about Mark Antony's? Uh, never mind. Look, it's Jesus. It's just so stupid. This whole thing is so incredibly, remarkably stupid. Hundred million dollar egg, by the way. Hundred million dollars for this. How many wrestlers you could have not cut if you had just sold that egg? (laughs) Maybe that's what it is. Maybe Top Dollars got the egg. Maybe the egg is going to be part of the the future sale. (laughs) You know, you ever know, like when you buy like an air conditioner and it's like you spend four grand, but now your house is worth ten grand more. Maybe they got that egg and he spent a hundred thousand, hundred million for the egg, but now he thinks he can get a billion extra for the company because he has that egg. I think that's what's going on here. That would explain cutting all the people. You're getting your ducks in a row, and then and then you know upgrading a few things like getting an egg, and then you can sell the place for more money. If he would have just said this on television, I would have been fine with the egg. I don't even know why he's so angry about it. I mean, it was stolen, but and by the way, it was stolen out of his office. He was there the whole time. We have no yeah. evidence that Vince left. So like Vince was just writing, and someone just came in and took the egg out. And Vince was oblivious. Well, he is. I mean, that, that plays into his character. His exactly. character is oblivious. His real life is, seems to be oblivious when he's making some of these moves. So, I mean, it all kind of falls in the line right there. Red Notice is the name. I'll help him plug it. Red Notice. I don't want, I don't want Rock to have any financial concerns. Oh, so yeah, I'll well. help plug his movie here. It's called Red Notice. It's on Netflix. You can watch it. Again, maybe it's just that as a Canadian who has always had health insurance, this doesn't seem, Max, smart enough, to this, be a big this deal. This is going to go to the best of right here, Lance. Yeah. You're being corralled away by uh, by this dog. By a dog trying to eat my wife's uh, boots. Oh, man. Oh, they said they must be tasty. Yeah, if my wife gets home and her good leather boots are chewed up, I'm dead. You'll be chewed up next. Yeah, I'll be living outside with the dog. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.